Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be testing out cold starts between EFI here and carburetors. Let's go ahead and get started. So the temperature here in Ohio today is a blistering 30 degrees out, which is actually a pretty nice day here in Ohio. Um, <laughs> but this garage is no warmer. I just have my little heater in the background there. But as you can see, you can still see my breath. It's pretty cold here. So my little experiment today uh, consists of two cars here. We have on the far side here my 1972 Mercury Comet that has a small block Ford uh, 302 in it, the biggest engine that came with that car. Uh, and it has a two barrel carburetor on it, which is a uh, Carter Holly style carburetor. Now on the other hand here, we have my 1990 Camaro. Uh, this has a small block Chevy 350 in it. Uh, this also has a Holley Sniper EFI as well as a Holley Hyper Spark ignition system on it. So a little backstory here on my Camaro. Uh, it used to have this Holley 750 uh, double pumper on it, which means both of the uh, butterfly valves here open up mechanically instead of uh, like vacuum secondaries where these uh, secondaries are opened up by a vacuum signal. Now, as you can see on this carburetor as well, there is no choke here. So it was a major, major pain to start in uh, cold weather like today. So that was one of the big reasons I upgraded from this Holly here to a uh, Holly Sniper EFI system was easier cold starts, easier starts in all temperatures really. Now the carburetor in the Mercury Comet over there, it is a, a two barrel Carter or Holly style carburetor. Um, but it does have a choke on it, and it came factory like that. And those are very nice to start uh, in cold temperatures like this. Now, uh, they don't start as easy as EFI here, but it does have a, a pretty big advantage over a non-choked carburetor. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. I feel like those weird carburetor guys who have all the uh, carburetors stored away for whatever reason. That's me. Uh, here is another Holly. I believe this is a 600. Um, this does have a choke. Now I haven't ran this carburetor personally. It came with one of the cars I bought, but this is a vacuum secondary. As you can see, only the front ones open up with the mechanical arm here. Now the choke here, that's what a choke is. If anyone can see that, basically all that does is closes, and those are on your primaries. So it closes and it locks off some air going into the engine, which helps in a cold start temperature like today. So uh, let me go ahead and go grab my keys and we're going to go ahead and start with the Mercury Comet back there and we're going to see how that thing fires up. Okay, now we're moving on to the EFI here. That carburetor started right up. Uh, once it got fuel to it, wasn't an issue at all. That choked at its job and <laughs> that thing idled pretty good. I think that shows how important it is to uh, make sure your carburetor's tuned just right. Those arms suck. I'm gonna go grab a pipe. I think it should be uh, mandatory for all cars to come with a pipe such as this. Uh, you don't know how many times this thing has saved me from things uh, like having to start the uh, smack the starter when the starter went out on this thing to just prop it up hoods and stuff like that.
So obviously the EFI here uh, won this contest. It starts easier in cold weather, but I think this video just goes to show how important it is to have a, uh, a choke on your carburetor here, especially if you're intending on driving that in any cold temperature like today. And the colder it gets, the harder it is to uh, start these things. Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate everyone watching. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, go ahead and subscribe. Stay along for the next uh, videos coming out here shortly, and I'll see you in the next one.